I'm Mela, Mesh is behind the screen. Today we wanted to take you on a tour of our amazingly beautiful kitchen. It's been such a labor of love for us. Um, we have had our ups and downs, changing contractors. So basically our home renovations, our kitchen was done by two separate contractors um, just because of you know, the first one ran away with money, but anyway. So uh, we had to change over to the new guys who were absolutely amazing. Short story on how we met these guys. They actually were working in a house across the road from us and I was on my way to a meeting and I just saw them and I was like to my husband, this is like two days after the old contractor ran away with our money. Um, but he had started, he just didn't finish. And the new guys came along and um, I really think it's a testament to God because walked out of the go walked out of the door and there was an answered prayer. Hey Lovey. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, so let's go let's take you on our beautiful kitchen. We're gonna put some shots in between for you to kinda get a bit a, a good glimpse of what it looks like. Basically the theme for my kitchen was farmhouse. That was a constant, constant word that I kept on using. I wanted a farmhouse kitchen, I wanted something that was white different shades of white and just very posh very lush but very homey and that's that's what farmhouse means to me so the first thing i actually bought in this kitchen or the first thing that i worked around was our stunning farmhouse sink this was where the whole kitchen began um basically i had been on pinterest looking for ideas and Every farmhouse kitchen had a farmhouse butler sink. And for me, this was the first item that we got. It sat here throughout all the process. It's not exactly here, but it was here. And I drew inspiration as to how I want my kitchen to be from this sink. This sink, I loved the detailing. There are different types of uh, butler sink, but I chose one that had this detailing in the front. Uh, as you can see, we stepped down the top uh, just slightly to give it this dimension. We got this stunning farmhouse type of um, tap. This was from Trendy Taps. And so let me just break it down for you. The colors that I wanted, like I said, was white, touches of wood, and touches of gold. So where do I begin? From the beginning. Okay. Right here. So this corner so if you remember our kitchen we had a kitchen with a peninsula island so the reason why it took so long was because i think we spent two weeks going back and forth on the actual design initially we wanted a peninsula island and we didn't want to destroy the kitchen we didn't want to open it up we had a scullery and we wanted to keep it that way but the more we went back and forth with our contractor the more we realized actually let's open up the kitchen let's give it a big space we want a statement um, island in the middle so let's let's do something bold so opening up our kitchen meant that now this was no longer the corner where our island was and instead i decided to get these stunning um floating shelves together with the um, a bookshelf, a bookcase, what's it called? Showers. Mirror. I mean, not mirror, a uh, sconce. What's it called? Sconce. Light. Yeah, it's called a sconce or something. Sconces. Okay. I think right. in America they call them sconces. I'm not sure. Mm. 
but uh, the, this whole inspiration basically i love studio mcgee i watch every channel three times over i'm always on the youtube page always on my pinterest and one of the things that i loved was adding an element of uh, floating shelves the design of these floating shelves i'm sure you saw in the previous video when we were coming to a color trying to pick which one do we like and the floating shelves mirror the same color as our island but we'll get to that so then because we opened up our kitchen i decided here we're just gonna have a nice flow of our top and we did some drawers and basically this whole section was worked around this this uh, butler sink i don't want to lie to you it was basically worked around the butler sink the top that we chose was the Calcutta. So what was really special about this design was that um, I remember the guy who did our tone, our top from Pure Stone Tech. His name is Blessing. Amazing, amazing guy, amazing company. Would highly, highly recommend them. I remember I started sending him pictures. So I went to Caesar Stone, the company, and they um, gave me three people in my area who they recommended who do tops and blessing was one of them i called him straight away he was so receptive he was like send me some pictures send me your rough drafts i'll give you an estimate and i kept on saying to him blessing i want a 40 millimil uh top and he was telling me the standard is 20 and 40 is probably going to be very very expensive and i said listen this is my dream kitchen my husband will pay for it I want 40 and <laughs> that's exactly what I got and I'm so glad we did that we went with this Calcutta um, design I can't remember the exact name of it and what I told him was I wanted something that was very soft but had also very subtle gray veining I don't want the veining to be too dark I wanted it to almost it's there but it's not it's not shouting at you it doesn't draw you away from the rest of the kitchen it just blends in with the kitchen and what i did was when we were picking the backsplash tile i went for the stunning clay tile as you can see i wanted something that had a bit of texture it's glossy it's not smooth but i wanted something that was um had a bit of texture and i said i want white grout here and I wanted my, my, my backsplash to flow really well with my island. And that's exactly what this did. I wanted something that was going to complement each other. When you're standing quite far, you can't really tell where the backsplash ends, where the top begins. And that is exactly what I wanted. And here we kept our window. So we had, if you remember, we had three windows in the kitchen. And we have this huge tree out here. We cut down the tree because we're going to do a nice vegetable garden outside. But this was basically one of the focal points. I believe this kitchen has a lot of focal points. One of them was definitely putting this butler sink with this um, stunning view of the kitchen front of your garden. And um, yeah, when it came to the handles, guys, I picked these handles three times. I went to Galma, I think that's how you pronounce it. They got tired of me. But they were so lovely because I would buy a handle, take it back, buy a handle, take, and not buy one, I'd buy for the whole kitchen, then take them back and be like, I don't like this color or it's not matching. I finally decided on this handle. I loved that the gold trimming uh, matched the gold, a little bit of the gold of the tap. But then it also had, it's like two tones of gold. And because I was not very married to gold being a focal point, I wanted it to be very complimentary. I wanted a handle that was soft, a handle that was lush, a handle that was, I don't want to say feminine, but borderline. I wanted something that was not too aggressive. I wanted, because handles play such a pivotal role in your kitchen. So I wanted something that was just gonna flow with the softness of my kitchen. If we move over here to the area that's dedicated to our, this is our integrated oven, this is our integrated microwave. So MASH really, really loved, as you can see, nothing has been used. MASH really loved uh, Whirlpool. So, you know, that was the main reason that we chose this. But the other reason was because I wanted appliances that were going to mirror the colors that I had chosen for my appliances. So when it came to my appliances, I was very clear what I wanted. I wanted black and I wanted silver. 
those are the two colors I wanted. And everything had to have a two-tone of that, meaning my fridge had to have black and silver elements, my stove, and my integrated appliances. So this was the best design that integrated with the rest of my with the rest of my kitchen. I absolutely love them. I mean, we haven't used them, so I'd be lying if I said how do they work. But uh, you know, Mash loves Whirlpool, and I trust his his abilities over there. And then over here, we closed the window that was originally here. We um, added a mini pantry, basically. And once again, I chose the same handles. This is just 322 mil size. If you look at our doors, our doors are Quaker design. So Quaker design means that if you look, it's two doors in one. That's what makes them very heavy and very expensive. Um, there's an initial board, then there's a second board that they put on top. But it gives this really farmhouse feel and I, I love them. Absolutely love them. If you come over here, this is Nash's designated coffee corner. Now, the reason, obviously now is nothing. We did stage it, so it's quite hard for you to see exactly what it looks like. But we made, we put this nice um, little area for him. It's got LED lighting. This corner is basically for him. He's going to put all his coffee beans here, his coffee machines. I gave him this corner. I said, love, when you're looking straight, when you're walking in, we built this in. And I wanted it to be open shelving because I want to get, like, just design a very stunning coffee corner for him. I'm that girl who's going to get him glass jars and, you know, all his coffee beans are going to be labeled. Yeah. And so this was the whole inspiration of this corner. I, I told them specifically I wanted this corner. Everything that is done was a Pinterest board come to life. I wanted this uh, 90 degree angle that was going to turn stunningly into my... Um, pantry and this side is basically just the back of the kitchen nothing really interesting to show you here when we remove that um, window we left the second window over here which is stunning gives a beautiful view of one of our lemon trees uh, we have our appliances over here nothing to see here <laughs> and uh, we also have a stunning farmhouse door now we went and we picked this door we picked the staining to go with the farmhouse feel i wanted a door that had 12 panels i wanted a low cut door i wanted my farmhouse doorknob i just i wanted farmhouse okay and that's what this door gives me we chose a morris chestnut staining vanish which I think is really, really stunning. Um, and I'm really happy about that. This is still a part of our scullery. If you look at the wall, we kept it a little bit. Uh, we kept this pillar the same size as the pillar by the fridge. So that when you walk in, you don't actually see what's happening on this side of the kitchen when you're standing from that angle. This is our scullery. Um, so we kept the design pretty much the same. The only difference is that we moved our second sink here. And um, other than that, the design is the same here, you know? mm, Nothing much. Is. We continue the same top, we continue the same tiles, the same sleekness, you know, everything here. And our third appliance stays over here. It's a very cute corner because we also did a very cute uh, built-in. So we actually have two microwaves. We have the built-in integrated microwave and then we have a little cute microwave that we got integrated into the cupboard, which I thought was a really nice feature. That is more just for everyday use, for our helper. We wanted her to have a nice little corner in our kitchen, you know, if she wants to do something and stuff like that. So yeah. That's about it. This side we have our stunning stove. So if you know me, you know I don't really, I don't want to say it's a phobia, but I'm not a huge fan of gas stoves. So that means that when we got a saran stove, it had to be, you know, high end, last number, biggest size we could find to compensate for me not being such a big fan of gas. I still wanted that very uh, big stove element, but very sleek. It's a very subtle tone stove. This has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plates. Um, three being in one. Yeah, right? Yes. Mm. So it's a seven plate top. 
It has all these little cool gadgets that you can see over here. You can boost it, you can lock it. It's got child protection, it's got a timer, it's got a center. Chef's kiss. And of course, the extractor, like I said, my colors were black and silver for all the appliances. And so I wanted the sleek sixth sense design to match the, the blackness of the um, fridge. But I feel like it's better. And I love how our fridge has a mirror. I think that's really cool. Whenever I'm going out, you know, if I miss the mirror upstairs, I can always just come down here and take a good look at myself. And yeah, the my appliances had to be very, very complimentary. And um, you know, at the back here we have our um, clay tile that I was explaining. I think this is a called forest honey mist color. Not completely sure. With some gr white grouting, you cannot tell where the top ends and where the um, tiles begin. And I think it gives a very, very stunning finish. Um, we just have you know some more cupboards on the space. We have a lot of space in this kitchen. That is the one thing I I noticed. We have a lot of space. It's not my fault You've been lying saying that I took away your peace Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me Like you have no options I ain't take your options Now I'm not the problem Man, that's on you You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always wrong I knew you lost your mind when you dropped that bomb Girl, are you crazy? Yeah, you must be crazy I've been thinking lately, lately it's you You stole your peace, put it on me Maybe it's you Lying like a rat But take your stuff back Maybe it's you And I would never hear You've been flexing everywhere Girl, look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you You stole your peace Put it on me But baby, it's I like a ride, but take your stuff back. So basically, that is about it. Before I forget, our our lines are all from Eurolux. Um, mm. So we actually went to the Eurolux warehouse in Weinberg, which mm. is like four floors. It's amazing. It's worth going if you're looking for lights because mm. they you see everything that they have to offer and they'll tell you where you can buy them. You would have seen it on the previous video. Yeah. Some oh, yeah, clips yeah, yeah. there. Yeah, so, um, you know, guys, that is our kitchen. Welcome to the Manazi household. Mash is going to take you through our... Probably I'll do it. Mm. Our... <laughs> Mash is on camera already. <laughs> okay, I look like a bush man. Uh, we're going to go over to our powder room, which also got a huge transformation. So... about 
to show you our final reveal of our powder room. This room was so small but so stressful. Like, um, as you know, previously on the previous video, we had a silver like uh, wallpaper that had very beautiful texturing. We got two separate installers to install it. We weren't happy with the first people, the second people also just made a huge mess. So, for the third time, I was like, okay. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe this is not the wallpaper I should have on my wall. And uh, we went to the store. They didn't have it anymore in stock. They told us we're going to have to wait until April, May. By this time, you could tell I was tired and out of renovation. So I was like, okay, you know what? Let's just pick something. Whilst we were there, Matt was like, listen, let's be bold. This room is so small. What's the worst that can happen? If we don't like it, we're going to take it down. We saw this... Um, wallpaper that we installed and it gave me mid summer night's dream vibes you'll see it it reminds me a bit of the Rolls royce inside on the ceiling with the little stars and i think that it's just so luxurious it's just so chic very dark very different to the kind of textures and tones that i go for but anyway let's get into it let me show you how beautiful our powder room turned out so welcome to our powder room have a lot of space in this room uh powder room is generally you know a little space left in your house and they just turn into a little toilet downstairs so this is a very small space but what we did was we decided to make this almost like a feature wall initially this was the tiles that we used on our um main suite upstairs and we had some left and i was like there's no way we're wasting these tiles they just throw them on this wall and that was such a good idea and it turned out lovely so now let me tell you about my midsummer night's dream wallpaper that's what i'm calling it okay absolutely stunning it's got these uh, majestic tones of dark blue and if you look really closely you can see little um things that look like glitter or stars in a way and i think that's really really beautiful uh, we chose, actually Matt chose this design and I was very, very scared, but you know what, I was just like, you know what, let's just do it, um, so either I'll love it or I'll hate it, and after they put it in, I absolutely loved it. The third guy that came to install our wallpaper, his name is Wisdom, he was absolutely amazing, he also did our um, main living room, and he did such a phenomenal job. You can just see when somebody is good at what they do. They don't take time, they do it well the first time. We chose, so because of the uh, space that we had and because of all the things that we had added onto this bathroom, I wanted a mirror that was almost non-existent. I wanted a mirror that didn't have a frame. I wanted a mirror that was just there, but it's a statement. And that's why I chose this frameless, um, very weirdly shaped, almost like an egg. Hey, love. Mm, it is. Um, I love the asymmetry of it. You know I'm a very symmetrical person. And because there was so much symmetry in this bathroom, I wanted something that was almost going to throw it off. And that's what I did exactly with this mirror. I chose something that was very sleek, very slim, does not make noise, but when you look at it, it's a statement piece. And I love the shape, I love the size, and I think it fitted well. This is the last thing we bought for our bathroom after everything had been installed. If you recall, we also added uh, these stunning, I don't know if it's called a cornice or a, what's this called? <laughs> I have no idea. I added this to almost like break up the wallpaper and the paint. I didn't want the whole bathroom to be one toned. And we got our faucets, we changed them for the ones that we had a small basin, if you remember, that was sitting on a cabinet. And because of the small space, I looked left, right, and center for a basin that was going to complement the space. And because the space is so small, a good trick that I learned from Studio McGee was to put the faucets in the wall. They just added this whole element to it. They were chic, they're very soft. If you look at the finish of the of the uh, faucets. They're a very soft finish, a very like 
luxurious finish i didn't want something very hard very strong in this room because i felt like the finishes went really well with the mirror going with the softness and the elegance that i was going for and if you look at more of our basin it had more of a industrial finish more of a tough finish and i really loved that because i loved the silver lines that were running across the basin. I loved this. First of all, the size was absolutely perfect for the space. And I love that it had this little cute nook where you can hang a towel. So we didn't have to think about, oh my gosh, where's the towel going to sit? It is basically a two in one. And so when obviously when you're designing for a small space, you want things that are compact, but things that are also very functional. Small spaces require you to have a lot of functionality. And that's exactly what we did in this bathroom. And I think it turned out absolutely amazing. So thanks, love, for um, pushing us with this wallpaper. And it's actually one of my favorite rooms in the house. Sometimes I just come sit here and just look at the stars as I dream about my future Rolls Royce. <laughs> hey guys, thank you so much for watching our home reveal the kitchen and powder room reveal next week we're going to be showing you our master bedroom or some people call it the primary suite together with our uh, walk-in closet and our beautiful new master bathroom i cannot wait for you guys to see it don't forget to like comment and subscribe join the tvc gang <laughs> the tvc gang and we'll see you guys next week bye